It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and the Rams, and it's coming up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles County, We've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. from Showtime Stadium. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Stafford going to throw from the outset. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot forcing the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that may get lost in the grand scheme of things, but one thing's for sure. You certainly don't want to go three and out to start the game. So that's a nice job of finding the right play call and coming up with a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Stafford. It's caught on the right side, Williams. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now Stafford. Finding Williams once more, complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll leave him with a third and two. We're scoreless after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Third and two, Stafford. And that 
Pass to the left sideline and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blank of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just loft one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So the Raiders backed up here to begin their first drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here's a second and five. Now it's O'Connell. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's going to be taken down right there at the 27-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. O'Connell on first and 10. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that will bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. They'll come up now third and nine. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've hit halftime here, and as we expected, looking at the clock, a very quick first half of play, as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Not too much to show you in terms of scoring plays. In fact, there's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? DeAndre Carter returning it. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. First down throw, O'Connell. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. a pass on first down it's knocked away and incomplete this defense trying to do its part active hands on that play but their offense hasn't given them much to work with so they're not going to worry about it on their side of the ball all they're concerned about can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense third quarter all tied up this is second and ten and o'connell now to throw crossing route and he's got his man it's renfro and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. Here's first and ten. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And he picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's second down. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. 
And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. He will push his way down to about the 14. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by Carlson is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So now Stafford and the Rams down 3-0, 56 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Here's a second and seven. Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Hey, you got your first down. Get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and 10. Stafford now to throw. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. This secondary as a unit, they've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Now it's Stafford. And that's caught by Williams. Oh, and what a nice tackle there. That will hardly move the needle at all offensively. A very short game. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. You call it? We are it, baby. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. One last throw here for Stanford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. 
So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And not all W's are created equal, CD, and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For